So I didn't read the manual on how to do this before I did this part of the project. So that's why we're in this predicament right now. Welcome back to the channel. John likes welding stuff. He likes drilling out spot weld. The other thing he really likes doing, body work. My favorite, my third favorite. That's one of the, that's one of them, right? So you guys might not believe it, but Trevor actually made it out of the office yesterday. And if you look around the car, you can see he circled where all the, uh, the hail dance and little things and stuff were at. So he, uh, he basically lined my workout for me. Yeah, give me so. a little. So we got some, I got some squiggles on the door, kind of showing the butt. That's actually a high spot. See that H? Oh, that is that. Oh, the H that's means it's H means oh, it's a little okay. high, a little circle. Okay. That means that that needs just a little skim because yeah, it's got some. You might want to like write me down a little diagram of what your different. Give you a little. Yeah, key. your different symbols mean. I'd appreciate that. Got another little What's low this spot one mean? right there. That means it's like a dimple, so it basically just needs like a little feather. And so what's the difference with that and this? That's that's just really so this is actually a hell dent. Oh okay. A little bit. And then that is just kind of a ripple. It's like a oh, it's okay. just there's just a little ripple. Yeah, I'm gonna need heat so for sure. could probably uh with that could probably just end up sanding just the clear and there's probably enough there to level it out. I still haven't done the fenders or anything like that. The engine bay looks pretty good. This door is pretty straight as it is, so I'm yeah. not gonna touch that, but we got a bunch of different things here. We got these dots. We got these dashes. That looks box. like a, that looks like a square cookie or something. Yeah, we got some some things See, here. That's a high spot too. Got a got a U here, like a horseshoe. And got an yeah. oval. So we got body work to do. These things are officially on. If you guys didn't see the last video of this thing, we got the back of this thing kind of buttoned up and how it's gonna look. Did not clip these things in because once they once those guys are in, they're not coming off. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. the way that the clips look. So I got this door frame welded. So we still are going to put a little bit of effort into this door over here probably last and then obviously we still have a lot of body work to do in the door jams as far as um, you know fixing all the seams that we welded there's actually a decent amount of hell damage on the roof of it so see if we cross that line right there you can see a couple a couple of them there's a few dents there's definitely yeah. i feel like this whole roof is gonna need a skim maybe yeah probably just skim okay. it and block it i don't know if this is gonna be a how-to i think it's gonna be more so of uh you know a follow along with sean uh there's also this little issue right here with with that guy we talked about that in the last. we did talk last, about that in the last, last video second. but essentially we're just gonna take out this thing and kind of fill the door essentially to kind of blend that out hopefully sean's good at that and uh we're gonna find out We'll figure it out. Well, we got uh, we got lots of body work to do. Let's get started on this. Hopefully, probably not in this video, but we'll we'll get to some primer eventually. So, first thing to do when you start doing body work is obviously remove headlights, tail lights, trim, all that other type of stuff. Refrain uh, from being pissed at the world. Hey, people are really gonna think that you're Moody Sean. No. Body work is really like it's it's cool, but it's like oh yeah, it's, it's not really super cool. <laughs> love it like it's it's definitely cool being able to know how to do it but it is kind of a pain in the butt pull out the door handles and stuff especially right here because we're going to be doing the blend stuff see this door has this little trim piece in the mirror pull off all that stuff and then we kind of have this trim that goes in the top for the little roof rack stuff remove that remove the tail lights we're going to take the rear bumper off it so we don't scratch that if we're doing body work up against glass we'll go ahead and tape off the glass so that we don't get any uh any issues or have any issues with that stuff make sure to mask off the engine bay when we uh sand everything and then obviously we're gonna be doing some stuff down there with all this stuff so man we got lots of uh lots of things lots of things and stuff but she's gonna get done <laughs>
All right guys, so I am on a new camera lens, so I gotta hold it really far out until my new camera gets here. 24 mil lens, whereas the other one was basically a 10 mil lens on a, and I'm on APS-C sensor, so it kind of crops everything in a little bit. So uh, Sean is over here working on this thing. Basically got everything stripped. Tail lights, rear bumper, emblems, door handles, all that type of stuff off of this thing. Got this front door on here. We need to get that thing cleaned up because there's some little dents and stuff in it. Now he is over here working on this fender. So this fender is an aluminum fender. Kind of had a little bit of a ripple thing up here in the front. So he went ahead and heated it up with a torch since it's aluminum and kind of tapped a little bit of it out and then went ahead through some filler on it. Now he's sanding it to see if there is any low spots or anything kind of using the factory clear coat kind of like a guide coat kind of like primer essentially to see if there's any low spots and then there's also some spots like right up here so that is essentially just a little bit of a ripple so he's gonna go ahead and sand that and that should the little bit of a ripple or whatever it was okay, let's see it now a so little, you can see little low spot but i can see probably... there's like a, a really just a tiny little shiny spot but as soon as he sands the rest of that it's all just going to disappear so we're basically using the factory clear coat to sand out and level out any imperfections. So that's uh, 120 grit on that. Probably the same thing would probably happen right here too, because I think there's a little one. Giving her the old crisscross applesauce. There she is, all gone. So we could end up doing that on a lot of little stuff, you know, little bitty ripples and stuff, but when you do get into dents and stuff like right here, as soon as you get into something like that, you for sure have to, you know, use a little bit of filler. So Sean has the roof all marked out. We're trying to uh, get a little bit of the, the guide coat on here. See the dance and the light up there. So basically he's just misting some guide coat on it and then we're actually gonna block the roof how it is. Cause a lot of these little ones, they should come out with just sanding them. Like all these little squiggle type of things. They'll come out with just sanding them. Where some of the big ones then we'll just obviously use a little bit of filler for that, so. Sean basically went ahead and blocked this whole roof and a lot of the little things like the little squiggles and like the little tiny hell dents, they basically came out, you know, kind of a situation like right here where you could see where it kind of went down past the factory clear coat, past the factory base coat into the factory primer, but we didn't go to metal, but that basically, you know, so we don't have to put primer or filler or anything like that back on it. Uh, so now he's just giving it a quick little clean and we'll let that dry and then so what we'll do is you can see down here in this little valley, since those are kind of bigger dents, basically what we'll do is we'll go back with some 80 grit. He did this in 120 grit, basically scuff these in kind of a crisscross pattern and then just come back in with just a little bit of that icing filler and then we'll just kind of block the whole thing again and it should turn out, uh, should turn out really nice. What do you think, Sean? Hopefully that's the plan. Straight as an arrow probably. What's up guys? So it's Friday afternoon here at the shop. Trevor is in Florida drifting. We blocked the roof with uh, 120 grit. Bunch of little hail dents as you can see, all the body filler and stuff that we have on here. Kind of have it all, all roughly uh, smoothed out. Um, I'll go over it with the skim coat. And obviously we're gonna primer the whole car and high build and then we'll block it and find any other imperfections. But uh, so unfortunately, with all the moving around of these new quarter panels and the, the heat from welding and getting them to fit and everything, there is a few um, a few little small waves and on the other side there's I'll show you guys there's a couple high spots so that's what I'm gonna get to next so you can see little high spots and little spot here and I'm assuming that's from the weld so I'm gonna go over these uh, quarter panels now get you guys on a time lapse and uh, that's it
So I got both of these quarter panels. I got them both blocked down with uh, 120 grit. This one's blocked. And the reason we're doing that obviously is to find small imperfections, high spots, low spots, etc. So obviously I, I got them both, uh, both blocked and wiped down. As you can see, that big spot right there, none of that was touched with the block whatsoever. So that's definitely a low spot we're gonna have to address. We got a low spot there. Got a few high spots here. You can see how, how they protrude through the paint. Low spot, low spot, small little low spot right here on the fender well. So basically now I have a decent amount of little spots I can use some mud with. So there's a few spots on the trunk as well. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of sandpaper, probably some 36 grit or 80 grit sandpaper. And then I'm going to basically get in there and uh, scuff those spots. I didn't read the manual on how to do this before I did this part of the project, so that's why we're in this predicament right now. Hey guys, so I am back from my trip to uh, to Florida, and back over here with Sean working You're on. Back from your trip to Florida. Back from my trip to Florida, mm -hmm. even though you guys didn't even know I went. But while I was gone, Sean stayed here and I uh, got some time lapse, got some footage for you guys working on this thing, working on this door, getting the wagon frame fit in it. I uh, did some messing with the panel adjustments and stuff to get this side to fit really nice. But check it out now. Look at this. Got some gaps. Got nice gaps. I think it's still we still haven't bolted that fender on though. The the bottoms is just it's just uh, hand tight, yeah. I really, really did try to buy another door. That was the overall goals to buy a new door for this thing, but there was a guy that was parting one out and he ended up selling it before I could get to it. Otherwise I can't find one locally as of right now. So we're just gonna bodywork and weld this one and call it good, yeah? I guess. I mean, I'm excited. We got you. Are you actually excited? Yeah, look how good that. Look how straight that door is. I mean, this door is that's really, pretty straight. That, my friends, is a really straight door. It doesn't need any body work. No, at all. I mean it's it's honestly not bad though. Mm. Like it's nothing compared to the Supra. Like, you want to do it? No. All right. So, well, I mean, I'll, I'll help. Okay, I'll help. I'll help. I'll watch. But now we got another problem. I don't know how we did it on the other side. What? For some reason. How we got it in there? Yeah, we have this. We have this square peg, and this is a round hole. Well, I did it on the other side. That's why it worked. No, I did it. No, I did you it. You took it apart. I put it in and welded it. Remember? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll put the camera down, and I'll help. Okay. Sean, what's up with what's up with this blanket right here? Well, so for the last few weeks, I've been burning holes in my crotch region, and it's not uh, not too pleasing or not too fun. So I decided to uh, wear this blanket when I weld. So this is like a fiberglass welding blanket that I got at Harborius Freight a couple weeks ago when I got the cart. 
And then now, we're gonna we're gonna see how it works. We're saving Sean's boys. Yeah, my boys don't like being burned by a spark, so. We had a little bit of issue with the fitment on the driver's side of the car with the front door, with the fender, with the front door, with the rear door. And so we spent most of the day today kind of getting that all, all cleaned up. And as you can see, the, the body lines are nice, how they should be now, nice and lined up. Everything, everything looks pretty good. And then also we got the window frame on this side mounted. So you guys have seen in the last video, we got the side for the window frame on the passenger side mounted. Now we got the one welded in and mounted in on this one. And you can see it lines up. Real nice with the body line of the car. And so now it's gonna be back to uh, back to just doing body work on the rest of the car. I wanted to do the rest of the welding on this before we did any body work to this door just to be prevent you know heating up the, the filler and messing that up. So now that that's done, we'll get started on the body work with the that door and the rest of the car that we haven't already finished and talked about, so. Yeah, and then we also put some uh, panel bond up underneath these. Since we didn't weld this, I think this is kind of how they actually do it from the factory too, and again, you pretty much leave this thing exposed like that and then the little uh, kind of trim piece goes over the top and has some double-sided tape to kind of keep everything from out of there. If we put a Motion Auto sticker on it, that seems like it's uh, it's tightening up and then just a little bit more filler on the quarter panels just from moving them around and kind of flexing them. So there's obviously some more dents and dings and stuff in uh, in the body that we need to kind of take care of. But for the most part, the body is now, one of the things that, I felt like I've done in the past is you end up doing the body work and then you don't end up fitting the car until like after it's all done. So now what we're actually doing is fitting the car, making sure all the body lines are correct, everything's good. Then we're gonna go ahead and do body work, make sure everything's super solid and, uh, and straight. Cause as much as this thing isn't gonna be a show car, I wanna be proud of it, driving it around and looking at it and you know, it'll probably end up at some shows. So uh, through this other fender, I'm still looking for a fender for the front of this. I still want a hood for it, but uh, as of right now, uh, Sean pretty much finished up the roof and some other stuff so the around it. And the rear quarter panels are yeah. for the most part done. All that stuff is finalized. The roof and everything's all done. Obviously just some more body work, but- uh, Yeah, a little bit more body work and then we can drive it. Obviously we are trying to build an Evo wagon here. And if you have not seen any of the other videos, be sure to check out the playlist or hopefully there's one popping up in the side, but I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you in the next one. We're gonna drive it.